decided I wanted to, to start hosting events on stage and do live events and things. And it's funny because in the beginning it was, you know, sort of rugger bugger dinners and, you know, I couldn't control a crown and everybody's just getting drunk and everything. And then it's morphed into, I still do all that stuff, but it's morphed much more into me doing big interviews with big stars on stage. So, and I did a massive Usain Bolt dinner a few, few weeks ago and, and I do this all the time. But the point of the story is this, 10 years ago, I didn't have to do that. I was, you know, successful as a writer, as a broadcaster, as an author. Um, and I fancied the challenge. I remember the first sort of year, year and a half, uh, sometimes it'd go well, sometimes it'd be all right. And sometimes you knew it hadn't gone well. And my mindset was driving up to wherever it was, whatever happens, in four hours' time, I'll be back in my car, going back again. And sometimes I'd be driving back, and I, and I, I didn't know how to control a crowd. I wasn't confident enough to know how to control a crowd. And um, I'd be saying, why are you doing this? What on earth? You don't enjoy it. You don't like it. You don't need to do this. So this is self-doubt. Why are you... Well, from somebody that doesn't sound yeah, like a little bit, any a, a, a little bit, a little bit. But there's other voice. You know, okay. By the way, by the way, I don't want to make it. I've got loads of voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, as I told myself and you the other, <laughs> the other day. But there's other voice in my head said, "Well, what are you going to do about it? Because you're not going to walk away because you don't do that." Yeah. And even though I didn't really like it, I had no choice. So, like anything, I use the analogy. And when you're learning to, to, uh, to drive a car and you got, you're trying to, you know, the clutch and the biting point and you, oh, you keep storing the car, you keep storing in the car, or the uphill starts the same, you keep storing right, the yeah. car, oh, and then one day you don't and you never look back. No. And so I don't even remember when it happened. It may not have been a, a particular thing, but I went from, oh, I'm not looking forward to this, to... I mean, like the Usain Bolt dinner I did at the Grosvenor House, 1,200 people. Now, the thought of doing that wow. a few years ago, I would have had sleepless nights, despite everything else I may have done, sleepless nights. Now I wake up and I'm punching the air, bringing on, because I'm confident and I'm better. I'm good at it now. But I've, it's taken time and practice, practice and practice. And I think it's a nice, for someone like me, and by the way, people listening to this <laughs> please don't be like me you don't have to be like me there's lots of other ways to be happy <laughs> it's just me it's not easy being me for anybody for me or anybody else around me but i i um you know i was punching the out i loved it and i'm confident but it's taken time it's practice 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 you can only get better only get better by by practicing and you can never think you've you've cracked it or you know, you, you don't need to learn. You the never more, stop learning in life. The more I practice, the luckier I get. Gary Player. Beautiful. Gary Kerr holds it from the bunker. Oh, you lucky. Yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny, funny you should say that. Yeah, because guess what? The more I practice, the luckier I get. 